Hello and welcome to our series of videos for backyard chicken keepers. My name is Lou Baskind, I'm a vet with the local land services. Today's video is called Excellent Eggshells. The hard shell around an egg is designed to protect the internal components of that egg from things like physical damage as well as organisms like bacteria or mold. Birds evolved the shell to protect a growing embryo, but there are plenty of benefits from a good eggshell for our table eggs that we eat. A good eggshell reduces waste because you're losing fewer eggs to cracks and breakages. Good eggshell also increases how well an egg will store because it's protecting the inside of that egg from contamination. Contamination can cause an egg to go off and some contaminants can actually cause food poisoning. So having a good eggshell increases the food safety for you and your family. This is especially relevant if anyone in your family is elderly or immune compromised or if you have children. A good eggshell is a shell that is really strong. So let's have a look at how we get a strong shell. Here we have a diagram that shows the reproductive tract of a laying chicken. The egg yolks actually take many days to form and then she releases them one at a time into the reproductive tract. In the first part of this, she forms the soft internal parts of the egg the egg whites and the part called the shell membranes. The egg is now held together but only has a soft outer coating. In the next part, in a part called the shell gland, the hard egg shell forms. And then she forms at the last stage, just before laying, the cuticle, the sort of waxy coating. So let's look closer at how the actual egg shell forms inside this shell gland. This soft shell is bathed in fluid which contains a very high proportion of calcium. The calcium forms into crystals called calcium carbonate and then these crystals all join together to form the eggshell itself. But where does the calcium come from? Well the eggshell gland gets the calcium from the chicken's bloodstream and pulls the calcium directly into this fluid. To understand how the calcium gets into the blood, I now am going to show you the digestive system of the hen. The hen takes in some particles of calcium as part of the food that she eats. The calcium goes in through her digestive system and when it gets into the small intestine it is absorbed into the blood. The chicken's biology has a series of checks and balances. Her body will know does she need some to make an eggshell and it will move from the blood into the shell gland. But if she's not making a shell while she's absorbing the calcium, some calcium will go into the bones to be stored and the extra calcium gets excreted through the kidneys and out in the droppings. Now, let's go back and look at this hen forming an eggshell again. As we said, the egg yolk travels down and the egg white is formed in the first part. That takes about four hours. Then the hard eggshell is formed and that takes 15 hours. Once she finishes the eggshell, the cuticle takes about an hour and a half and then the egg is laid. The vast majority of hens will lay in the morning or early afternoon. Let's work backwards and think about when the eggshell is actually being formed. Those 15 hours are mostly happening overnight. So as that shell gland is looking for calcium in the bloodstream, there isn't any new calcium coming in in the diet. Well, that's when she has to pull the calcium back out that she stored in her bones. Depending on how much extra she needs from the bones, this can be really detrimental to her health. The consequences of not finding enough calcium are thin shells and easily broken eggs, sometimes shell-less eggs, difficulties with egg laying and damage to the bones themselves. If she has to pull too much calcium out of the bones, the bones can actually break. So what you do is first of all, you have calcium available all the time so that they can eat calcium when they feel that they need it. And the other thing you do is you make sure that that calcium is in big pieces. Now those pieces can be things like oyster shell grit or even chicken egg shells that have been cleaned and dried and fed back to the chickens. Chickens don't have teeth. Instead of teeth, they have a big muscular stomach that grinds their food down. So if you have bigger particles of calcium, these particles then sit in this stomach called the gizzard. As the gizzard grinds down those particles, bits of calcium will be released continually over a period of time. This means that calcium is being absorbed from the digestive tract into the blood right at the time that she needs the calcium for the shell. It bypasses her need to pull calcium in large amounts out of the bones. The result will be better formed, stronger eggshells and a healthier hen. 
So remember, for a strong eggshell, feed your layers calcium.